beautiful collective welcome back to the channel everyone thank you for joining me here everybody i hope you're doing fabulous now let's get some positive energy here collective energy what does the collective energy need to see nor hear spirit for their higher good help me to deliver these messages have helped me to bring clarity to the situation that's on the collective's mind. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, and all of your subscriptions. Are they're deeply appreciated? Know that. Collective energy. Collective energy, please and thank you. Ooh. A fresh approach. Make a wish. Potential gateway. Expansion. So, something is about to be expanded. Something is about to lift off or take off in a beautiful direction. There's all kinds of helping hands coming out here. The universe reaching out to help you to... It's a golden opportunity or something for a solid foundation. Something is opening up here. Let's see what's going on. Well, it is expansion, but it's more than that. It's helping hands, helping you rise. What's going on here for the collective? Well, the, the uncertainty, and it was deliberate to come out in reverse. You no longer are uncertain. You know exactly where you want to go, what you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to obtain here. Stability, family, roots, new beginnings, prosperity. <laughs> well, you got clear endeavors here, clear intentions. You are no longer uncertain about what you want in your life. You know what you want. You know exactly what you want. You want a new beginning. You want stability. You want family. You want strength. You want family stability. Prosperity. That's yours. <laughs> Let's go. You know what you want. You might have learned it by what you didn't want, but now you know what you do want. Collective. Hmm, this is awesome energy. I love it. This person was in stubborn and inflexible. They wanted to be the leader. They wanted to be the captain. Although you were the guide. Spirit's like, wake up. Wake up, ring another bells here, wake up. The collective was the guide. Hello, why are you being so inflexible? Why are you being so stubborn? You're not the captain of this ship. This is teamwork. They were a sleeper, man. The pathless. You are being productive here. You were the waker. You were the one to bring this awakening to the forgotten. Fear of failure. Missed opportunities. Being stubborn. Being asleep. And you were here as the awakener to, like, the bells are ringing here. Swear. 
The bells are ringing. Wake up. Wake up. You are here as a guide to the pathless, to the forgotten, to the ones that are asleep. The ones who were stubborn, the ones who were inflexible. You are the waker. <laughs> oh my God. They use their alchemy for destruction. This is the twins. What is this hound doing here? Well, you're determined and you are certain now. You've got clarity. You are certain what you want. You're certain of what you want. Jeez. Somebody's doing candle magic. They're rebellious. This is someone who rebelled. Okay. There's a witch here using dark magic. Even though you were sent as an awakener, even though you were sent to wake the pathless up, there is a dark witch here who is rebellious. They're using alchemy to create destruction they're a thirsty, dark hound. Someone that is using their alchemy for bad purposes here. <laughs> you know, that's the works of the evil one uses people. You know, the devil it cannot do anything without people doing it for them. I'm just saying, the devil would have no power if people weren't doing the devil's work for the devil. That's what somebody did. They, they rebelled. Somebody is using dark magic. You were sent to awaken the pathless. You were sent to awaken the pathless. This is a wake up call. The bells are ringing like in judgment. You know what I'm saying? Those who are using alchemy for destructive purposes to the people sent to awaken the pathless. They are using black magic. I'm sorry, whether that's words, whether that is casting spells of negative intention, destructive negative intentions. I don't know why I'm doing this.
It'll come out. What's going on? What's this? What's this um, alchemist witch up to here? The magician? Using alchemy to hurt people to hurt. This is to hurt people. Using it for greed and jealousy. Spell work. Who is this? Oh, for destruction. I cannot using these tools to cause hurt and destruction to destroy the truth. What in the Lord's name, Spirit? Yeah, they are going to regret it. I don't know if this is slander. I don't know if it's to control, to take over control. They are going to regret it. Oh, you were sent as the guide to awaken, to bring forth the truth, to bring clarity and truth to the pathless. But somebody is trying to use their skills, their alchemy to cause destruction. And Spirit is saying there is going to be a wake-up call here. You were sent as the guide, the waker. Determination and certainty. You were sent to awaken. You were the guide. But this person rebelled. What in the frick? Something about a dual nature. These are blessings. And somebody's using alchemy to control and trap, to bind. Confuse. Jesus. The hell is going on here?
This is sabotage. This person loved you. Like... I don't know what's going on. They wanted control. The twins. Dual nature. What the hell is this? I could actually be talking about somebody who has a split personality. Because that twin came out here. It says... Dual natures. And then it comes out... Dual natures. The twins. Someone has a split personality. It could be a Gemini. They're using alchemy. Like they have a split personality. This person is like longing for the Empress. Looking for the other half of them? Somebody is doing alchemy. Like for, um... Just keep going. It ain't for good purposes. They rebelled. I'm actually hearing of two minds. 
this is it could be like a double standard a, a split personality a double personality you walked away you stood up for yourself like seriously Stubborn, unflexible, unwilling to change. Just like bind, binding someone. This is an obsession or it is... They're bound to the devil. I Did someone make an oath to the devil? You cannot serve two masters. Someone's of a dual personality. Someone is using their gifts for alchemy. Someone is using their gifts for destructive purposes. Someone is doing uh, rituals or they're doing some kind of I don't know what they're doing. Okay. See, that's what I said. You cannot serve two masters. So this person here, what's this all about? The devil and the hierophant. What's that all about? That's wearing an oath. To the devil. Yet. They're like. That is the forgotten. You know they're forgotten by. By God. Because God. Uh, kicked the Satan out of heaven. Right. You. Wanted to take over. This devil wanted to take over. Thought they were as powerful as what God was. That is the fallen angel. Holy God. The betrayer. <laughs> Jesus. Fool. They chose. That's that dual personality. That dual personality. On one hand, they present themselves 
to be God-fearing people. Uh, and on the other hand, they're swearing allegiance to the devil. I don't understand this. <clears throat> Give me a sec here. Because you're over here using your gifts for healing and you're using your gifts to help people and you're using your gifts for good. Someone over here either has a dual nature, like uh, pretending to be godly but they're the devil or worshiping the devil. I'm sorry, it's here. I cannot help it. They are using, this is a witch who went against God and turned to the devil. But they're hiding behind their religion. Like, they're hiding, they're putting on a false front. They're a dual nature. Everybody knows them as religious. Everybody knows them as you know, a godly person, but they're not. They're not. They rebelled from God. Oh my God. Why do Karma, I, I am sorry. The death and the judgment. Dual nature. Dual nature. Oh my God, why am I getting this message? Whoa. Somebody was trying to take down an earth angel healer. You were sent here as the guide. You were sent here as the leader. You were sent here to heal, to awaken. Bam! This is a dark witch here <laughs> who's a devil worshiper posing as something else. They have a split personality or they have two lives. They have the behind the scene life that they do. <clears throat> and they have the front that they put on to the world, to the people around them. There's a dark witch here who is presenting themselves as godly when they are not. They are using spell work to do harm to the guides, to the healers, to the ones that are spiritually here to help and be of service. Oh my God. It could be a coven. Uh, it could be a front. It could be somebody who has like mental issues or has a split personality or I'm not sure why it's even coming out in the read. To be honest with you, 
Is your person with a dark witch? Is there a dark witch out there that is trying to uh, destroy sacred unions? Is it a group of people sent to do that? Somebody turn to the dark side, just saying. Like, I'm sorry, but you are the, like, the awakener. You were here as the guide. You were spiritually guided. You are, I told you, there's the sounding of the trumpet. The bells are ringing. You're here. So my messages may not be pretty, but they are to awaken people. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, that's my, what I'm being asked to do. Who is ever doing this witchcraft for bad purposes? And they think that when judgment day comes, Satan's going to, save them somehow <laughs> not happening you cannot serve two masters on one hand somebody's claiming to be godly and fe god fearing and the other hand they're doing black magic for destruction evil they're doing evil They are misleading people. Why am I hearing this, God? The dead are dead. They shall not awaken. These are the pathless. These are the... They shall not awaken. Wow, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm not sure why Spirit's given this message. I totally, so don't come on in the comments and get on me. I don't know why Spirit is giving me this message. It is maybe to awaken people to the fact that you must choose who you're going to serve. That's all I can see because Spirit is saying when Judgment Day comes, the dead, they shall be dead to me. They shall not awaken. Whoa, that was point blank on this one. That's what Spirit's saying. 
So those who are using witchcraft here to maybe this message is going to get through to somebody. I don't know why I'm getting this message. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why. But to bring the truth and the clarity, that's the message that wants to come through. And that's the message that I am delivering. So that there is no uncertainty. You cannot have, you cannot serve two masters. You must choose who you worship it is one or the other Spirit's clear on this one. So if somebody was uncertain, they can be certain. Okay? You must choose. You cannot sit and ride the fence. You cannot... S no, no, no. Spirit saying, I'm going to make myself crystal clear. Whoever this uh, I am the captain spirit is saying Ooh, wow yeah. Don't be arrogant. Don't be haughty. Don't get your poop in a group here because this is teamwork, not alone. But for D. Destruction. I'm telling you. The miser. Unflexible and stubborn. And those who fight my messengers shall perish and they will not arise. That's what I'm hearing. And that is the hound, right? You know what I mean? That is the hound.
this person knows better. They know better. That's why Spirit's bringing it out. This person knows the truth. This person knows better. They know. They are using their um, faith or their religion as a masquerade. It's falsehood. Somebody is doing this. I don't know how it fits into your situation, but it's sure coming out for the collective. So... I cannot take back what Spirit wants to say. I'm not sure yet what the intention of that was, but as a warning, perhaps. I, I don't even think it's a warning. I think it's a declaration. Who do you choose? Spirits like with the sword. Make your decision. Make your choice. Who are you going to serve? Because it says... Be in service. You were called to be in service. And somebody rebelled from spirit. Somebody chose the enemy. And spirit saying, I don't know, man. People just think that, I don't know, like I'm not some um, person who knows everything, okay? I'm just a tarot card reader, but that's the message coming through. So if peoples are doing black magic to cause destruction, spirit considers them dead. I'm flabbergasted this came out. That's not, I'm not super religious. I really am not. <laughs> I'm not even super spiritual, but I know that there is a spirit. And I know there is a God, and I call upon God's holy name. And I know God is holy, and I know I'm in service because I'm being obedient. I don't claim to understand everything or know everything but I can tell you this was a direct you cannot worship Satan without this judgment and obviously somebody is someone is being of a dual nature they're putting on a front that they are they're hiding behind a title but they're doing the devil's work they may belong to a faith but it's as a guise they're using it as you know 
someone who's sitting there using alchemy to cause distraction. And spirit knows about it. So whoever needs to hear that message, know that spirit is completely got clarity of what they are doing. And the sword is out, man. With judgment? Ay, 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 ay. Take it as it resonates. I, I'm not certain why I even got the read, but it my guides are delivering that message. Take care.